Climate change is impacting water resources and rising temperatures are disrupting the entire water cycle. The Wheelow Group is a leading provider of pumps and pump systems, moving water in an intelligent, efficient and climate-friendly manner. Their mission is to invent and manage sustainable water solutions that benefit everyone, everywhere. I sat down at the COP28 talks here in Dubai to talk to the CTO of Wheelow Group, George Weber. So we're here at COP28, yeah. welcome to Dubai. Thank you, Laura. What are your first impressions? Yeah, it's amazing uh, to see the, the space here, it's amazing to see the effort, but also amazing to hear that 70,000 people are coming here, so it's, it's really a fantastic uh, event. And also for us, of course, uh, it's, it's great to be here and have discussions with people who are interested in uh, sustainability at all. And so what is the main reason why you're here? What sort of drew you here? Well, we're in the region anyhow, so we have here in Dubai also a, a great operation uh, and, a, and a big team taking care of the MENA region. Um, so basically, uh, we have different um, directions what we go. First of all, networking, getting to know people who are also in the fight, let's say, against water scarcity, energy saving and food security. Um, but we're also trying to, uh, let's say, have discussions with politicians, with NGOs, with partners, everything. Because we need to cooperate together and only then we can really improve the world. George Weber, wonderful to have you here on the sidelines of COP28 here in Dubai. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for being here. Tell us a little bit more about your role as CTO of Wheelow. Well. I'm uh, heading the R&D activities, I'm heading the industrial activities, operations, uh, supply chain, logistics. But I'm also happily playing the role of an ambassador, of a sponsor for sustainability in the Velo Group. So your mission, as I was reading, is to invent sustainable water management solutions. Tell us more in detail about exactly what you do. Well, we move water, the vital medium water. and. Uh, we do that in the most efficient way you can think of. So our pumps are the most efficient uh, pumps in the world. And uh, this is also what we strive for, uh, that we, our engineers are fighting for the last percentages of efficiency. That is one thing. But we also make sure that we have solutions, water solutions uh, for uh, the people, for everybody in the world. Uh, and you can't think of uh, a situation without water. I mean, uh, if you have, uh, cannot wash your hands or you cannot shower or you don't have food uh, to cook or whatever. So water is everywhere. It's in the industry. It's in our normal life. And, and we would not be able to, to survive without that. So we provide that and in the most efficient way. And so when we're talking about climate change and water, give, give us a, a nice overview of, of why this is such an essential point and why we have to focus on water management and the effects of climate change right now on water management. Yeah, climate change is uh, to a large extent a water crisis and we see in our daily experience we, we see thunderstorms, hurricanes, we see shrinking ice fields, we see uh, rising water levels, we see wildfires, uh, droughts, anything uh, let's say of, of that and it's increasing over the last uh, uh, years, let's say. And when we look forward in a few years, we will see acceleration of that and that will put more stress even and more pressure on the water supply. And at the end of the day, that means that also then food will be endangered. So when we uh, step back, let's say, we see already today that there is a lot of stress in water. By the way, water is a human right, uh, we say so. Um, but that is already uh, lasting, let's say, to a, or, or leading to a, an issue that almost billions of people don't have access to drinking water every day. So in, in that respect, there is uh, a lot to be done in terms of uh, sustainable management of water. Um, and we have a lot of effort, let's say, what we put into that one. You can think of that uh, sustainable management of water is also energy efficiency, uh, it's about uh, the water transport and also wastewater treatment is requiring a lot of uh, carbon uh, emissions, let's say, in, in producing that. And so that is quite an effort. And uh, I think for, you could say that there is no, uh, uh, let's say, climate change um, without an effect on, on water supplies, you could say. So it's at the end also food security. So water 
security is food security. You're a global company. You, you, you've got your spread across many different uh, continents. So what, sort of, what are the main problem areas right now? What, what, should, what should we be worried about? Like, like what I said, I think the, the, the underinvestment of wastewater is, is a topic what we definitely need to approach. Um, we need to do more in the leakage protection. And I mean, there's technology there who can solve that. We have leakage detection. We can in systems detect leakages so we can go after it. There's technology out there and various technologies who, who can do that. Uh, we just need to apply the technology to it. And that is on, on one side on the technical part. I think on the other part is that we need a global water policy. Let's say we need strategies and many countries don't have that yet. And what is far more important is that globally countries need to interact, need to cooperate on water because the water doesn't look at borders. So we have to get into water strategies, which are cross-border strategies. Also, how are you tackling head-on the challenges of these five megatrends? Water shortage, energy shortage, globalization, urbanization, and of course, the big one, climate change. How are you directly tackling those? This is a very good question, because we have selected those megatrends also for our strategy. And it's amazing how much speed and, and let's say traction these megatrends get even now today. You couldn't think of that one 10 years ago. Uh, so we, we think that we even uh, apply that even stronger with our corporate strategy. And there's one decision which we just took now as a board of, of uh, management that is that the corporate strategy is now the, supply, uh, the, the, the sustainability strategy now which means that we derive from the sustainability strategy the main actions, be it product development. So we look into the product portfolio, what is helping the most from that? What are the actions we have to take? What are the networkings, uh, what we have to do? Uh, we're talking to our suppliers, uh, can you assist us? Can you also do a lot in terms of sustainability? Um, and as a winner, award winner of the German uh, Sustainability Award in 2021, and uh, award, uh, let's say, the EcoVadis Award, winner of platinum level. We are driving that, let's say, and trying to engage our uh, partners, business partners, also to follow us on, on, on that one. And so, therefore, we also invest in uh, specifically projects also with NGOs, with uh, governments, with uh, several bodies, how to, again, in a cooperative manner, can approach this issue. And of course, partnerships are key to driving change. Absolutely, absolutely. And we see that, we recognize that, and we also recognize the demand of that one. So there is a growing amount of water projects now where governments recognize that they have to do something. Well, of course, technology and innovation are most commonly the ultimate solution when it comes to anticipated and sort of present challenges as well. Yes, yes. You are obviously great innovators. You have this incredible technology. What, what's next? What, what is the next sort of level of technology? Are you maybe integrating yeah, different types of technology that Absolutely. we should hear about? I mean, if there is one, uh, let's say, um, action which is helping the most, then it's technology. Of course, an engineer can say that. This is, this, is, this is very clear. But you could think of irrigation. Take that as an example. We do now today uh, have some projects where we do digital uh, let's say, um, uh, censorship, let's say, in terms of what the content of humidity in the soil is, and then apply water only as much as the, the, the plant needs, basically. So it's, it's smart irrigation, you call it. And this already saves a lot of water. And, and we do that mainly also in the countries which have already a scarcity of water. Uh, that is just one example. Uh, efficiency is uh, a point which we discussed earlier is, is a very good one. The application and, let's say, leakage detection, for example, and, and looking at the wider scope of uh, a network of pumps of a whole system, of a whole application system, is giving also another, uh, let's say, topic which we can save. And then when you talk about pumps and energy, when, when you talked about the five uh, megatrends, energy saving, um, not many people know that 10% of the world's electrical power go into pumps because pumps you don't see, typically. Uh, but this um, alone is giving you a huge uh, opportunity of saving energy, because 
80 to 90 percent of these pumps are outdated, are old. They keep on running, but inefficiently. And some people say if you, if you just would change that hypothetically, let's say, all in once, we could save up to 250 uh, terawatt hours, for example, which is an equivalent of 80 uh, power, uh, let's say, carbon powered uh, power plants, which is huge. I mean, it, but it's, it takes time, of course, and people need to have the awareness to do so. Tell us about your goals for the next five years. What, what do you want to see happen within those five years? And where do you want to see WELO as well? We have a clear target uh, for the next five years, if you may say, is that uh, we measure that we give access uh, to drinking water of about 100 million people. And we want to pursue this target also with our, let's say, support of pumps, infrastructure, technology, and everything we can do, let's say, to achieve that target. This is one of the, the single targets, but we also have uh, clear targets, uh, let's say, uh, which we for sustainability put in place. So we want to reduce our emissions internally, scope one and scope two by 50%. We want to reach the 25% reduction of scope three, so for pumps in usage. And of course, we have uh, thousands of sustainability goals also as well. We want to make uh, our contribution to make the world a better world for people. We cannot thank you enough for coming in today. Thank you so much for, for updating us on all your incredible work over at WELO. We wish you nothing but the best going forward to uh, supply water solutions, sustainable water solutions to everyone. So thank you so much. Thanks for the interview. It was a pleasure. Thank you.